Hello, this is Chris Thomason of the St. Paul Pioneer Press, and welcome to Draft Central. Let me get started by quoting Mike Zimmer, who is fond of saying you can never have too many cornerbacks. Since Zimmer took over as Vikings coach, they've selected cornerbacks in the first round in Trey Waynes in 2015 and Mike Hughes in 2018. They also took Mackenzie Alexander in the second round in 2016. And with Waynes and Alexander now gone in free agency and the Vikings having released least Xavier Rhodes, I think they have to take a cornerback with one of their two first round picks, number 22 and number 25. So back to Zimmer at number 22, one of his all-time favorite players was Terrence Newman. And I say at 22, the Vikings will take a Terrence Newman clone in TCU cornerback Jeff Gladney. He's undersized but has a junkyard dog type mentality. At number 25, I would trade down. The Vikings definitely need a wide receiver having lost Stephon Diggs in a trade to Buffalo. But the draft is so deep at receiver, I think they can get a high-quality type guy, definitely, at least in the second round. So I would take the number 25 pick, perhaps package it with number 58 in the second round, move down in the first round, and then get an earlier second round pick. So with that later first round pick, I would go with Houston tackle Josh Jones. The Vikings need another long-term starter at tackle. They've got Brian O'Neill, who could perhaps move to the left side if Riley Reef moves inside, but Reef Reef's probably not going to be with the Vikings, at least for a long period. So regardless of which side O'Neal is on, Jones could be the other starting tackle. And then with the pick they get early in the second round, I would go perhaps with Clemson's T. Higgins. He's the type of guy that could step in and be a starting receiver right away alongside Adam Thielen. And if Higgins isn't available, there should also be a number of top-notch receivers still available earlier in the second round. So that's it from Draft Central. Thanks.